Welcome back JDM fam. Today we are going to be replacing the ABS sensor in the rear wheel back here. Now if you guys didn't see the video we just changed out the wheel bearing in the wheel the rear wheel back there. So what we're going to be doing is swapping out the sensor back there. It's the ABS sensor because all of well a, a few lights turn on on the dash in here and so the ABS sensor, we checked it out and it was bad. It's definitely, uh, it's cracked and it's not even plugging in right. So we're gonna swap that out today. I'm gonna show you guys how we're going to do it. And I do apologize for how dark it is. It is, uh, I don't know, it's like 8.30, 9 o'clock at night, but we wanted to get this done. It's really nice out. And uh, so we're going to pop off the tire back here. We're gonna remove the tire and then uh, check out the sensor, see what it looks like in there. All right, so wheel is off now. There it is. So all we got to do is get that nut right there. Looks like it is, uh, where's my hand? Looks like it's that nut right there. Gonna pop that off. Obviously unplug what is barely hanging off right here on the, uh, the harness or the plug or whatever. We're gonna unplug that, get that nut and take this off and then we'll be back. So check this out guys. We got the sensor out. Here's the new one. Here's the old one. This thing was so bad. It was in two pieces in there. This piece was just hanging out at the bottom. And uh, as you can see, I mean, this thing is bad. All right, so I showed you guys the sensor. That's it right there, snapped in half. And uh, looked really bad as well. There's the new one, already bolted in, plugged in. All the lights on the dash should hopefully go off. So now it is all done, guys, literally. Pretty simple install as well. So now, not to mention uh, that we replaced the sensor, we also replaced these studs in the brake uh, caliper as well as the clips too, just because we had some brand new ones. So now they're all brand new in here. So now we're going to throw the wheel back on and start her up, see how she runs. So that was the process on changing the sensor, guys. It did not fix the problem on the dash, though. It still says check all-wheel drive, has a warning sign, and also the ABS light is still on on the dash. So we definitely need to either make sure the sensor is installed correctly or maybe make sure that the sensor is good. Also check the fluid and the fuses as well. So we're gonna be go combing through the system and making sure everything else looks great. So let me know if you guys have dealt with this problem and what fixed it on your 2IS because I know that a lot of people are dealing with this. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next video.